Hello and welcome to episode number 104 of Super Califanilistic. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and today we're going to talk about why it's important that you invest in yourself. Before we get to that, as always, a quick shout out to all of those who tune in for the first time of one of my episodes. Make sure to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of the video if you're watching this on YouTube or to subscribe to the podcast if you're listening to the podcast version of this series. Now, let's talk about investing in yourself. What does it mean? It means paying for your education. For some reason, most people have the misguided belief that when they, end, or when they leave school, that their education is over. And that's why they don't achieve anything in their life because they stop learning. The moment you stop learning, it's like when a plant stops growing, you basically die. Like there's no future growth possible. There's nothing, nothing new. So it's crucial to keep learning, to invest in yourself by buying books that will teach you something new, um, signing up for courses, seminars, trainings, and so on. And eventually go and get a mentor, somebody who is already where you want to be. I doubt that most of you that are still browsing on YouTube all the time and looking for motivational videos and how to be successful and how to make money, um, that you're already where you want to be. And the reason why you're not where you want to be is simply because you want to live the million dollar lifestyle with a minimum wage work ethic and it doesn't work. Yeah, you need to be willing to put in some effort and you also need to be willing to put in some money, meaning like to sign up for those courses that will teach you. It's like when people instead of paying, I don't know, 20 or 40 dollars per month for Adobe Creative Cloud so they can use Photoshop, but rather they spend 10 hours figuring out how to crack it. And they don't value the 10 hours they spend, but then they're so proud that they cracked it. And if after two weeks after the next Windows update, the crack breaks, they spend another 10 hours. It's crucial that you like value your time and that you basically put things into perspective. I never understood why people like for them, it's okay to spend a hundred dollars on a weekend at the club or even more. Um, but paying, for example, a hundred dollars for a one funnel away challenge that really teaches you something, uh, a 30 day training program for a hundred dollars, that's too much. Yeah. Um, why I don't know, like paying $8 at Starbucks for one cup of coffee or even more is okay. Um, paying $9 shipping or $8 shipping to get a book, a best-selling book from Russell Bronson, it's too much. Yeah, It doesn't make sense, it doesn't add up because the same people that go to the club and spend $100 and constantly are at Starbucks, well, the same people would want to have more success, have more money and live a better life, but then they're not willing to put in the effort. It's like if you want to become a professional athlete, no matter in which discipline, you need to show up for your trainings. If you don't show up for your trainings, you will not succeed. You may believe that uh, some people are more talented than others, but I hardly or strongly disagree with that. It's not really about talent in some cases for real genius or, or for real, uh, how to say, like real uh, exceptions, like the really top of the world, it, there, there it may apply. But in general, it's simply that those people started years ago and put in the effort. They showed up for their training three times per week, four times per week, six times, seven times per week. And that's what it takes. You need to like become good at what you do. You need to learn the things that are essential in your area. Um, for example, for me personally, it's a constant journey and a, a constant progress and a constant learning progress. Yeah. Like while I already knew a lot last year, like only the uh, only within the last year, I learned so much more. I didn't know about sales funnels before February this year. Yeah, I didn't know about click funnels before February this year. I didn't consider the possibilities of affiliate marketing before February this year. And the only reason why I discovered this basically, let's call it a gold mine where you can make money without having your own product is because I'm investing in myself. I'm constantly reading new books. I'm constantly consuming new content in terms of like videos, trainings and so on. And I'm constantly on the lookout for the right person to mentor me that is in every area where I already have some knowledge ahead of me and can provide me with the right guidance. And um, that's what you need to do. Like investing in yourself is one of the best things you will ever do. Yes, you may not enjoy like um, reading reading some some book about with facts like you would enjoy like getting drunk at the club. But the point is, the more you invest in yourself, the better your life will become, and the more maybe maybe someday you own that stupid club you're constantly hanging out. You see, like, but by just by just like being a, a sheep and a 
consuming everything that others produce. All you do is make others rich and you keep working or running in your hamster wheel and working your nine to five and probably probably you need those party nights to be distracted of like how less how little freedom you actually have in your life well and the choice is yours you can suffer for a couple of months or a couple of years and like work hard outside of your 40 hour day job to to build your own thing to start your uh side hustle or however you want to call it um, or you can just work the next 40 years and basically then retire with a crappy pension. It's really up to you and the, the, the core decision that makes the difference is deciding to invest in yourself. Invest the time into reading books that will get you somewhere like The 4-Hour Workweek by Timothy Ferris, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, Dot Com and Expert Secrets by Russell Bronson and similar books like that think and grow rich by napoleon hill there's a long list of must read books that will really open your open your eyes and open your mind to how the world really works and once you understand how the world works how everything works well it's easier to to play the game if you don't know the rules it's hard to win yeah um so that's pretty much it for today so make sure you invest in yourself yeah not just and when you invest in yourself, that's the even even yeah more important part, like to close off this video. Um, a lot of people, I see it, like we are, uh, Irina and I are putting out a lot of content and a lot of free things or, or content for free that we learned in the past. So you don't have to make the same mistakes. You don't have to wait that long or figure it out or, you know, and the problem is you, you and other people you don't value free content yeah like you you consume free content that if it were as if it were worthless but honestly every almost every instagram story of grand cadone for example could be could be charged or you could be charged for it because it provides you with value but if you just don't value it because somebody gives it to you for free well then you're actually missing out yeah you need to you need to consume content not just collect it but you need to then actually consume it read the books maybe read them twice watch the video twice try to apply certain things yeah but just because somebody is giving you advice for free doesn't mean that it's worthless it's like if you were to look for a tutorial on how to build your new ikea shelf on youtube or how to repair your car and and then you watch the video but you don't follow the advice because it's free well it also doesn't make sense probably if you look for a tutorial you follow it step by step and the same you should do the same when it's about like your financial future like about your education if like people give you advice no matter if the book was free or not and you see those people have success and are where you want to be chances are that following this advice will actually help you get there so that's it for today thanks for tuning in don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video if you're watching this on youtube and to leave your comments down below See you tomorrow with another episode of Super Califanalistic. Till then, bye-bye.